heck if I know what, what a good one is. Uh, I don't think I've done this one yet. So depending on how long this stream goes, I'll uh... Since in theory I can finish this today without it taking too long, and then I want to switch to Super Sunshine Book 64 or whatever it's called. Secret Sunshine Book? I don't know. It's a mini hack of alleged quality, so it shouldn't take too long. And then tomorrow, uh, speedrunning, in theory. Because, r reminder, I speedrun. You probably forgot. <clears throat> anyway, uh, last time, I found where the heck... Anyway, um, yeah, my stream actually died abruptly at the end of the last, uh, stream, at the end of the 7.5 stream. Because my internet's been doing that, and it could do that today. If it does die, it usually goes out for, like, what, five-ish minutes or so. I'll probably keep streaming afterwards. <clears throat> anyway, I found out that the way over here, and where the bob on buddy is, is actually over there, so... Maybe I, uh... Found him by mistake. I don't, I don't remember finding him, but apparently I must have. Anyway, I've got all the badges and such, so... I don't actually know fully where Note Block is. I think. And I'm dead. God, these bullies are bull. I hate this already. Those bullies are the most overpowered things ever, because even if you hit them off, they still you still take residual knockback. And the platform is just so thin that it's basically death, because they're always in the center of it. It's, it's just so dumb. And, of course, the lava is, <clears throat> as usual, too damn far away, so you can't ever recover. It's just cheap difficulty. Also, that there looks like the star I'm going for. I'm not entirely sure how I would get there. I mean, obviously something with note block. Maybe a teleporter? I don't know. Because I don't think it's another cannon. Might be, though. Unless it's this note block. Remind me what was up there? Oh, right, that's where the switch is, yeah. I wanted to kick, and then I dived, and then I had to move faster because the bully was right on my tail, and then... <sighs> this level is the worst level. thought I'd say bully spam. It's not even that spam. It's just the fact that these bullies are overpowered. And these platforms are ass. It's like a single hit and you're probably going flying. I'm surprised they uh, didn't hit me there. If they had hit me, if I uh, definitely would have gone uh, flying. But apparently I was just far enough <clears throat> that I was able to jump instead of them hitting me midair. Anyway, I have no idea what I'm doing here. With this, uh, I assume this is the note block. Maybe. How does it relate to me getting there? 
Unless there's another note block where the uh, Bob on Buddy is. What's that down there? Hold on. A star, but it looked like it might have been a troll star. I couldn't tell. Thing is, no block requires the super block, so. Also, shout it's to invisible walls. I'm gonna double check what was over here. Because that might actually just be it might not be that one, whatever is over there. Mmm, yes! Just jump right into the arms of a Chakya! Good! Game design! To hell with going over there, I'm just gonna assume that it's uh, that thing I saw, and that it wasn't a troll star. It's gotta be around that note block, that much is certain, which means we gotta backtrack through all of this bull again. Ugh. This is borderline Kaizo, how stupid it is. It's not hard, it's just unfair. And boring. And linear. Like, this level is by far the one of the worst defenders in this game, but even still, this game is far from bad. Or far from good. Like, maybe if these platforms just led to a star and it was, like, right there, instead of you have to go through this plat this path, like, ten times. But just the amount of backtracking, mind-numbing boredom and tedium, just... The fact that you just have to go back and forth, it's just bad. Also, the decorative trees. Getting in the way of the camera. I'm just gonna go at this camera angle and hope I don't bonk. God damn it! I couldn't tell the angle of the thing, because it was too far away and the tree was in the way of my camera! So we gotta do this again, because this is an A plus video game. I've said it before, but one of the thi I'll say it again, I think I've said this before, but one of the things that just angers me the most is incompetence. And this is a bad, such bad level design that uh, it definitely, uh, definitely qualifies. And again, it looks great. I don't care if it looks great. I'm dead. Because something can look great, and still be crap. Because level design is more about just visuals, aesthetics. It's about the positioning of the platforms. The, how you get from one place to another. The positioning of enemies and obstacles. The overall layout of the level in, in general. That's what encompasses good, like, good and bad level design. Watch, that's probably gonna just be a troll star anyway. I couldn't tell, it looked like a troll star, but I couldn't, I can't think of any other place it could be. If this is a troll star, I'm gonna flip my lid. I probably won't, because I don't exactly have a lid to flip, but I'm gonna be mad. Okay.
No, it's real. Good. I guess the one floating out in the distance was just fake for absolutely no good reason. Seems as how you can't even get there. Uh, course 11 and then 12? Oh boy. This level was okay, <clears throat> but, eh. At least I don't have to collect coins. Like, that is the one really great thing I can say about this game. Because the coin collecting gets annoying. Also, I don't know where, like, anything in this level is, so... Okay, actually, that's not true. There's the one over there that I don't entirely know how you get. I don't entirely know. I mean, I have no bloody idea. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Mmm. Well, I guess this is. It's a troll star anyway! God damn it! That one's real. Okay. Looks like all the stars are just up here then. There's, uh, whatever this one here is, unless it's also Troll Star. I don't think the upside down ones are ever Troll Stars. Like, the not upside down ones. Also, that fake star is just dumb. Because even if it's marked, you can still grab it by accident! Also, it's kind of impossible to know what you have and haven't gotten. Have I gotten that one? No, that one's upside... Heck if I know. I thought that was actually a troll star. But maybe the troll star is in a brick. I don't know. It all looks the same. I'll take that checkpoint. And now we're upside down. With the ominous music. Spooky. I know I've heard this in another Brodoot game or another game, and I don't remember what. Hi, Scuttlebug. Also, I don't know where I am in the level <laughs> at all. Oh, this was in Nightmare. This is in Bowser's Castle of Nightmare. One of the Bowser's castles. Uh, at least the checkpoints are nice. I don't know where the heck I'm going. Down here, I guess. Allegedly a green stars sort of type deal, but a lot of these are so similar anyway. That doesn't really feel that green starsy anyway. Like or like that a lot of them are so close to actual stars, that's what it feels like is what I mean. Also I don't think that I actually wanna be over here. Maybe I do. This is new. This probably leads to it. No, this is... This is the bridge that ruins me. I want to be up. I've been ruined! No! Can I do something clever? Maybe. 
if I don't get bodied by Scuttlebug. Saw that one coming. Problems this is it's still kind of like this is close-ish to this is clearly upside down and not meant to be. It's still it's kind of hard to tell though. Better not just be inside there and I have to find the switch. Because that would be dumb. Also, I don't know where the heck the bloody switch is. Did I even see a switch? Also, did I see something over there? I'll never know, because I don't know where the switch is. I do love the searching for the entire through the entire level for a switch, just because the star is inside a block. It totally doesn't add busy work to the star. No, sir. It's A plus game design. Well, it's not there. If I had to guess, it's inside the block. Hell if I know where the, uh, switch is. I think I know where the switch is. You wanna know where the switch is? The switch is, go back down and then climb back up, because busy work. The switch is right here, isn't it? Sure is! Oh boy! Because, you know, that it was difficult to hit that switch and such. Totally not busy work. Like, that's just dumb. That's just not good game design at all. It doesn't add anything extra. It just wastes my time. It doesn't make the star feel better and more involved. It just feels more frustrating when I get to the star and realize, oh, I didn't hit the switch that I had no way of knowing I needed to hit. And backtracking from there is impossible unless you die. Like, you have to die in order to get back. Which is the kicker. Yeah, there it is. Inside the block that you have no way of knowing you need to get rid of. Garbage game design. Also, what was it, 75 or 70? I don't know. Let's just do... Ah, oh, no, th this... I'm going to 13. I need, I need to go to 12 first, which is further down the path. Also, this overworld is crap, and I hate it. There is 12. Oh, there is 12, right. Through the ultra block door. Block, whatever. Arbitrary blockade. Seen two overworld stars, but I assume that they're somewhat story related. I assume the last star that I, well, one of the last ones that I need is over here because I did. I needed the triple jump for a bunch of stuff. Is my point. Oh right, no, I need to go over here. This is allegedly how I ascend, even though I can totally ascend without, but just by being awesome. There's definitely still a spot I needed the switches for, or the triple jump for. Use this. Body. I do love the key twos when they're gonna toss me off platforms that are so dark I can't even see Mario's shadow. Also, actually, I could have gotten switches, I just couldn't find out where the hell the door was. Yeah, I know I know what switch is talking about, I just don't know where the thing is. Oh, 
Also, didn't we already have like three or four switch switches style stars? Come on, bro, dude. Get some creativity in your bones. At least don't repeat stars per game. If you repeat stars per game, that's understandable. Like, at least star concepts if you execute them differently. But, like, repeating the same star per level. Dumb. Let's lose a fight to a Likitu! I can't tell if that's a troll star or not. I think it's... I, I need to get closer. That's definitely a troll. Is this one gonna be called LOL? Jumping down anyway, so... That's definitely a troll star. Oh, that's where the... I thought that was a box I could hit. No, I was wrong. Let's go grab the troll star. Yes, I don't know. There's really no need. Also, Toho music, almost certainly. But you already knew that. Probably. Oh, there's a... instead of kicking! Why don't let's just do switches, or attempt to at least. anything, but probably does something somewhere. <sighs> now let's get out of here before Baba kills me. I say as I'm racing Baba. Oh, there's multiple, Bob. I didn't realize. <sighs> okay, I don't think it was ever on there. Yeah, there really wasn't much of a point in coming up here. No, there was. That might be Switch, I don't know. Yeah, it was blocked by Switch. Couldn't even tell. Tr of course it's a tree. <sighs> of course it's just inside a tree. Well, I think I know where. <sighs> Screw it. I'm doing it my way. Road its way is dumb. What's this place called again? Right, Magical Storm Canyon. Whatever, it's just SR1 course. 
five again. Or whatever. It's Nightmare Sky. Down castle. And before this is actually SR4 course 12. Might be a combination of. The, no, I mean, obviously it's not, because it's the castle. Also, do you know which tree has it? Because I sure don't! there is, but I don't feel like looking for pixels. The hell is this? What the actual hell am I looking at? Are they all real or is one of them fake? I can't tell. If they're all real, it's good game design. If they're all fake, well then... F you. I'm making a save state, because I don't feel like finding out how much of an asshole tr uh, bro dude is. Jumping off this tree is already awful. Thank you, game. Oh, there's a branch there, of course. Why wouldn't there be? Can we just off this? Too, or am I slightly? I think I'm too far away, slightly. If if two of these are troll, then this is just guess and check, and this is just unforgivable. It's just pick a pipe. I can't even get high enough. I legitimately can't even get up there. Am I supposed to am I supposed to land somewhere? branches. They're too thin. I think I can do this. No, I can't. How the hell do you climb this? this like, this is, this is worthy of Kaizo. Cause I can't even figure it out. Mainly because you can't even tell where the hell the tree is. I can't tell the angles, and there's branches in the way, and there's leaves in the way. Like, is there, is there... There is a better way. Okay. I thought, I thought I saw a star over here and I already got it, but no. I didn't. If there's another way, then fine. I don't see how this involves wall kicks, though. Yeah. 
Also, it does look like it's pick a pick a pick a star. Then it's definitely pick a star because it's not. Oh, you just need to hit one of them. I added three, so that's more convenient. No, it's just pick a dick. Pardon my language. It's it's pick a star, pick a pipe, pick a path, whatever. It's pick a insert whatever thing here of which one is correct. The rest are just there to ruin your day and kill you or waste your time. It's the worst concept ever. Like, what is this? Bad Mario Maker levels? It's probably what Brodu does in half his Mario Maker levels. Good game design. Let's get you out of the way because you're going to kill me. Also, why why would why would this be axial lined? Of course, depth perception. What is that? I don't know. I couldn't tell what the things were. And of course, there's fire because let's add fire on boxes so that if you get hit by the fire, you just instantly die. Because killing the player is fun. They enjoy it when they die. Instantly. Because that's A plus game design. <sighs> Bro, it's like, oh, well, there has to be some challenge. The challenge is the boxes themselves in conjunction with the short, shorter timer. The fact that the camera is kind of bad, even with parallel to cam. But adding stuff to just one-shot the player, that's just... It's fake difficulty. Also, wall jumping is difficult, apparently. Did any of the stars require the triple jump badge? I don't think they did. I mean, the one box that I saw by the LOL star does, but none of the others seem to. Also, I couldn't get that one anyway. Also, linear path! Yay! Exciting gameplay. I like climbing random platforms for no good reason. Oh, that's that's a fun guy. An amp that just shock you into oblivion. Okay, yeah, no, they're troll stars. Well, the one in front of me is obviously... I think this... I think that one's real. That was a dumb star that didn't require trip wall kicks. I mean, maybe it did, actually. Maybe it did to actually get up. I don't know. Uh, I think 75 is enough to open up this gate here. Oh, it's just 70. Oh, but there's a 70. Why? What is this? I need 70 to get in here. Why is there a 55 and a 25 star door? <sighs> right. A 70 star door. Which you can go through in vanilla. I completely forgot that because I expected this game to be good. Well, I guess here are the two switches. Here's both of them. Because busy work. What, what's the point of this? Like, actually, what's the point? Is there any point?
Where even was the green switch? I don't even remember. Also, I don't want to go to Castle Bakiti. Also, guess what? Now we gotta go through every level again! Switch. I hit it, but I don't remember where. It was at the end of the password, but where's the password? I don't remember. I did first season to get up to where 13 is, but then... That just... That was... Was it that? I don't bloody know. All I know is... Gotta redo every... Collecting coins is nice, but having it be by a switch is just dumb. Because it means, oh, you, you've got to just backtrack and backtrack and backtrack. wasn't even exciting or challenging. It's not even... Oh, you have to find the switches. No, they're just there. You just need 25 and 55 stars because the 70 star door is fake. Screams. I don't... I don't remember where they are in this level in the slightest. Because this level is very different. Also, it's very similarly titled to Star... Or to uh, Course 3 in uh, Zdars of the Beast. Burning Acid Swamp. I don't know where I'm going, but evidently not here. Whatever, if I follow the linear path, I'm sure I'll run into one of them eventually. Screams at Brodu. What does what does this linear path prove anyway? That I that I can do the linear path ten times? Like yeah, I'm making open Kaizo's heart, but this isn't Kaizo. This is not meant to be. I think there's one of them. But is the other one up, over here? I'm gonna go with hopefully not. I need I need a ball kick for this one apparently. Oh boy. I could have just jumped there. I did it the long way. Figures. Can can I scream at Brodute yet? For any trace of purple, which could be, yeah, I don't know where it could be. I'm gonna go this way though. Maybe not this way. And I'm dead. Now I 
got the lava badge, I'm fine. I say, being at 1 HP. Hardly fine, but of course there's a Chucky in that box! Why did I suspect otherwise? Okay, here's this. I was like, this looks suspicious. I can probably wall kick up there. Let's go to Dublin! Yeah, these stars are pretty much mostly fast, so it shouldn't take too long. So I have no idea what the heck the uh, other two overworld stars are. Did I get, ever get MIPS 2? I don't think I did. And then it's just a toad, I think? What were the non two toad and MIPS stars? I don't, I don't remember. Probably just kind of around. Bowser stuffs, I don't know. That has... Yeah. I was like, that's not the box, right? It's not. I know where one of the boxes is, actually. It's inside the uh, thing. I don't know where the other one is, though. levels, but this one is exceptionally just kind of useless. Nothing happens here. It's just boring. Uninspired. This is totally not where it is. Let's just get the one I know about. Which would be in here. I'm finding the 100 coin one first, I'm noticing. Which is good, I guess, because, I mean, there's no hint for that. It's just kind of off a cliff somewhere, because that's usually how Brody hides things. No, no, it's... No, no, that's where the other one was, the green warp box. Which, for the record, has been used for, like, once in this level for a star, and I think that's actually it. So, good job making use of that custom mechanic, Brodu. A plus job. 10 out of 10. See me after class. location to jump down. I'm not finding one. Doesn't require the super block, so it's gotta be in the first. Just the first. It's gotta be in the first. what it is, though. Like, go behind one of the signs. Yeah. 
go. Oh, I can totally get around this one. I think. Well, it's not in this one. If it is there, then I like this position because it is actually clever. Cleverly hidden, like a green star. Of such. The box should spawn anyway, right? Also, brilliant layering on that water. Okay, I don't know why I failed to get over this one. Because this one... Oh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely right there. You can see the, the, the ledge it's on. Because, of course, it's on a ledge. It's this game. They're always on ledges. I don't know why I didn't consider using the railing when I was over here. It is definitely over here. Which, I mean, I kind of like. But this requires triple jump and... Does it not? Unless you can, like, long jump around. So this one's, like, taller. I think I was triple jumping off the rail. This one feels taller. I kind of liked that one's position. Imagine that. I mean, I don't know where they are in this level at all. I, I know where one of them is. The other one, uh, not so much. All I know is that one of them involves not actually coming here, but this might involve the other one anyway. Since I was like, this is how you get to the stairs. No, this isn't how you get to the stairs. So linear level! At least Dublin pretended to be open. As boring of a level it is, it wasn't linear-ish. But that's just due to a facet of how small it was. But let's just go up here for lack of any idea. Other idea of where to go. Um, it's, it's probably in a tree, actually. It's almost certainly in a damn tree. Or right there. Mmm! I sure did pick the wrong half of that platform to jump off of. Whatever, we can circle around. I'll say, look. Continuing my tradition of getting the 100 coin one first. So I didn't find this one. I knew where the other one was. Oof. This isn't exciting or fun gameplay. It's just jump off the ledge. How is that good? When, when every star is jump off a ledge, it kind of loses its, uh... Even its annoyance value. It's just kind of boring. But anyway, I definitely should finish this, uh... Game today in, like, two hours. Maybe three. 
I say, having only gotten 13 stars in, in like an hour. But I mean, we're flying with these next stars. So. The actual stars took a while, but. Now we're flying. And we're dead, because why would the. Why wouldn't the lava be instant death? Why wouldn't it be? I forgot. Gotta hold back! Or whatever. <sighs> Good job seeing, because I certainly don't trust that spring. Whatever, if I trust the spring and it kills me, I can yell at Brodu. So let me remind you how many enemies in uh, vanilla have the ability to knock you off and instantly kill you. Okay, I can't. I could trust Brodo that time because the answer is not that many. Very few levels had enemies positioned in places to instantly kill you. Also, this one is just jump off the cliff, as as always. That doesn't even look like lava. Also, I think I know where this one is. Wasn't it just, yeah, it was just like here, but in the other version. Which means backtracking. Also, I have no idea where the other one is. star over here, I thought. Oh yeah, this one, yeah. I like the three stars in that direction. It's just kind of there, there, and there. And they're all extremely easy and non-threatening. It's just kind of filler. And by just kind of filler, I mean the most filler I've ever seen in my life. Lazy, lazy game design. looks the same! I hate this level. Now, no, actually, it's actually pretty rare that levels actually use the toxic gas gimmick. To be completely honest. The toxic gas gimmick that used as an entire level gimmick is not very common. So I, I enjoy when it's actually used well. But it's such a moot point in this level. Well, we found one of them. That's actually not the one I thought of. That's actually not at all the one I was trying to get to. I was trying to get to the one by star. I didn't even know that one existed, but okay, I'll take I'll take getting lucky. 
Because, I mean, it's just kind of in, a, in, a, in an alcove, off a ledge, as they always are. <sighs> Come on, why can't I grab that ledge? <sighs> just get me out of here. that the uh, boxes don't seem to have troll stars attached to them in mirror worlds. Also, what a shame. I thought Brody was actually using subworlds. I should have known better. kind of up here. Of course there's cases more objects platforms. Actually, I'm supposed to be wall jumping up here. I'm dumb. Like, how do I get it? Well, let's do MIPS clip. I don't know. Because I assume... Yeah, he's there. And maybe the last overworld star is a toad I haven't found, like, gotten access to yet? I don't know. Why does this game make me so mad? And the answer actually is because it's bad. Bro, dude, is bad. Where's my no fall damage badge? That is such a missed opportunity. Especially seeing as how a bunch of newer games have no fall damage by default. Am I gonna die fall damage? Why wouldn't they be thin too thin? I'm doing this my way, and nobody's telling me otherwise. Because this is a thousand percent doable. If I could triple jump... It, I, I don't get why I can't triple jump. And I actually do know the answers, because the platform looks so much... The slope looks so much closer than it actually is. There we go. It took too long. Grab the ledge. Okay, no idea where the last one is. Also, that was star five, not star. Interesting. Okay, what am I doing? Dunno. Course 13, go. Oh, right. They're, they're... Okay, yeah, the green switch is just through that 50 star door. And there was no boss battle or anything. 
It was just random hero green switch. All right, overworld rats. That's where all the things were that I missed. There was one toad, two mips, and three overworld reds. I'm pretty sure I got all three overworld reds. I'm pretty sure, I mean, I know I did, so I'm just missing a, a toad. Also, black and white. Also, this music. This music's fun. I don't remember where I first heard this music. Obviously, it's Toho. Was it Zelda Classic? Might have been. Really? No, definitely not Zelda Classic. It's definitely just from a Brodoot game. This level looks, like, completely different. Is the castle even still there? I can't even tell. There's some suspicious platform over here. Leap. And by suspicious platform, he means panels, and by he, I mean I. Yeah, this level is, like, completely different. It's no castle at all. And it's just as hard to navigate. Am I supposed to do some Kaizo shit here? Oh, that didn't have a wall either. I couldn't tell where the walls were. If any. Cause sometimes there's walls and sometimes there just aren't. Ditto for floor. Like this is a hole. Is there anything in the hole? No. Subble's okay in 7.0. I like the gimmick. I just didn't particularly love how it was executed. This time, nope, it's ass. At least it seems kind of open. And because there's no distinction between wall and not wall. Also, why are there so many coins? It's like it's like he originally planned for there to be 100 coins, then last minute he decided to screw it, we're adding boxes. Is that even something I can land on? <laughs> Apparently. But is the star actually in the window? Also, why did it come here instead of going to, like, the every other level? The answer is, I don't know. Of course! And I was muted this whole damn time. Brilliant! Man, I'm glad I knew that was not a slope. Because I'm kind of shocked. I expected that to be a slope. But no, it's just generic 
climb level. Oh lol, I put troll star at top. It's funny. Will bro dude ever not make me mad? Cool, I couldn't tell which side was the uh was real and which side was not. I couldn't tell which side was the thing. I guess it's clear now, but I mean, I can't tell where the other side of the platform is, so... That's why I was so confused. Oh no, it's just extremely thin. That's the problem. I, think I saw that on both sides. No, this is just thin. And here's just the hundred coins. Okay, well, that's... Where, where both of those are. That wasn't even hidden! Like, that wasn't hidden, it was just there! On the thin platform! the most busy work star I've ever seen in my life. If in doubt, hit blue coin switch to look for a suspicious thing. Anyway, I'd like to see what's over here. Without falling off of... Heck, if I know what. I would've been fine, but that thing is in the way. I wanted to just slide, but no, no. Can't do that. I have no idea where I'm going here. I'm going somewhere. No idea if I'm even supposed to be over here. Because this seemed a bit more difficult than Rodit's average. Was there just a platform over there that I could have landed on? Cool, I don't know where I'm going. What's the point of this? There is no point. That's a completely isolated area too. It's not even the back of some other building. It's just there for the sake of being there and confusing the player. Nice. Also, this isn't axi aligned and it upsets me. I don't care if you've got parallel act again. It's still annoying to have to adjust it. Brody is so bad about making his things align to the axes. tell where the walls are. I mean, obviously. It's the point of the level, but it's done, it's executed in such a way that it's it doesn't add ambience, it just makes it annoying. It just makes the jumps blind. It's like, sometimes he puts, he makes the side of the thing white, sometimes he makes the, si the, the top of it white, you can't tell. It's inconsistent. That's the thing. There's inconsistency. Supposed to be doing this, I guess. Yeah, blind jump. Not only can I not see the star, I can't even see the wall.
I mean, it's not like this level's anything to write home about in the previous version, but it's better than this. Maybe. Am I not supposed to be getting it like this? I can't even tell. That's definitely doable! I, can't, I, I might be intended to, like, jump down from above, wherever above is, in relation to that. I don't know. It's impossible to tell. I don't see any above. Tell what's decoration, what isn't. Well, that's a troll star, and that's a real star. Okay, sure, free star. Those were boxes, were they? Didn't seem very box like to me. Park of Time. I don't know. So, what about this? Is a park? Is this the park? Is that the park? I don't bloody know. I'm just gonna go for that dumb triple jump one again because I can't think of any other way to get it. Playing this game just makes me want to finish my games, like, surreal and such. How do I get above? Looks like I'm so close to that. But I'm, it's just like too close to the wall. I know it's possible like that. It's just, I'm gonna poke around a little bit more, see if I can find another way up. Unfortunately, with Parallel Lacticam, it's impossible to know what's just clipping through a wall and what isn't. Okay, I can go this way and jump down. Well, I was overcomplicating it, what a shame. Here, I'm clipping through a wall, but I mean, I've got no way of really knowing that. go back to park for about three more stars. This, this level's small. This level is like even smaller than usual. This level is tiny. So I can't even tell if there's a risk of death. Is this all enclosed? It might be. What's the point of all these panels? That's where the star spawns, probably. Like, okay, th how is this like green stars? This is just a free star. It's like, oh, you want a star? Ha here, have this one. You'll have to do absolutely no work, and there's no risk of death. 
when I walk off a platform anyway. No, th this is all enclosed. That was the freest star ever. Felt like filler. Despite it having its own dedicated area. Thing is, what's the point of panels? Like, it's just another secret. You can just use secrets. Oh, but panels look pretty. It's more objects patch. No, just no. Well, I already got one that was on pillars, except those were called boxes, so... Let's just get this one here, and then we'll look for pillars later, because pillars is almost certainly in the park of not time. I like the Goomba there, just to knock you off. Also, I found the 100 coin one first in this level, also. I'm assuming it's over here because this is suspicious. In the way that it such might be. Also, there are pillars here, so... Hey, look! It's the only part of the level that hasn't been used! Imagine there being a star here. Hey, look! I go from pillars to MORE PILLARS! Except the star is just right there. Cuz... It's always a jump down star. Always. Every single time. It's just like, oh, let me just put it off the side of a cliff for absolutely no real reason. Hey, Elle. Welcome to the stream. What's this sign say? Oh, that's, that's the hint about 15. I mean, that's because this is just... A, it's very similar to 7.0, this. 7.5. Well, let's go get the stars here. I can only think of one box. Might be able to get to it from here, but it's probably easier from the note block. Also, let's f not forget about our good old friend Chucky, who just kills you. Yeah, let's not go that way. I forgot about the Chuckster, who just is kind of there to make that jump literally just a, a, a random chance of surviving. Like, what, what? what's the point of that box? Just to kill you? It does a good job of it. Or the, that Chuck, yeah. This is still almost certainly the worst level in the game. It is so bad. Also, there might be a... A thing in here, I don't know. Oh, yep, here's just the 100 coin one. It's just kind of here. And free. Okay. I only know where one of them is in... Do I even know where any of them are in 11? Because I can only think of one of them in 12. <laughs> but man, I sure do like uh, backtracking through this about a 20th or 30th time. And we're dead, because bullies! A plus game design. I did, I like barely even touched the bully, and we went flying. Like, did he just up the knockback? I don't actually think he did, but he's done dumber things, like making the Goombas in 4.0 be 
on steroids. surprised I'm alive. Still even more surprised I'm alive now. Also, this box is kind of just kind of ass, I think. So I'm gonna make a save state, because to hell with it. Okay, we survived. And fire. Ultra block and triple jump. Ho oh, hum. Not that ain't it or anything, just nothing in it. Good English. I like how there's that uh, floating thing there. Is that left over from. I mean, it, it goes to show how we made this game. He just re imported the levels from. Uh, onto a 7.0 ROM, because that's left over from the maze that he didn't get rid of for some reason. So I have, yeah, I have absolutely no idea where I'm trying to get to. There's only one spot that we're... I'm just gonna hit that because it seems like a nice thing to do. I have no way of knowing if I need to hit that switch or not. But I'm gonna hit it. If I had to say, maybe both boxes are on this end of the reality, since a lot of the ones, a lot of the stars were in the other version. But of course, this is just complete subjective. There's actually no way of knowing. Oh, well, that's suspicious. Hey look, it's a hundred coin box. I seem to have a habit of finding that one before the, uh, not a hundred coin box. What's over here? But I'd have to hit the gate switch to access that, and I don't want to hit the gate switch, because that's just annoying. So instead, I'm going to be awesome and do this. This is totally doable, and by that, I mean I'm pretty sure I've already done this and proven it doable. Oh, 
There we go. Should be a checkpoint there. I want it. over here. So, let's flip it. I don't need wall kicks, apparently. So it really doesn't seem like it's in this section, but... I don't know where else it would be. This is 7.5. I mean, yeah, 8's the last one, but this is the last one for me. But I'm, I, I, yeah, I forgot the title. It's a bit confusing. The last Star Revenge that I've yet to finish, since I've already played 8. But no, that's just that again. Technically, eight's the last one. I mean, they're all shit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The plot is a complete mess. Who gives a crap about the lore? Because the lore is so nonsensical that it really is just shoehorned in for the sake of Brodut's ego. I don't know. It might as well be gibberish for how effective of a plot it is. Uh, that's never gonna work. Anyway, I'm gonna hit the switch because I I'm I'm pretty confident in being able to say that I'm gonna need to hit the switch for this one because it's the only thing I can think of that would require the ultra block and triple jump. It's up here in the switch, so basically just like the fifth star, except slightly more out of the way. I don't. They don't make sense anyway, even if you do them in order. And how are you gonna figure out the hell the correct order anyway? Because it's certainly not numerical order. One is, like, somewhat, like, halfway through the timeline. The only- The plot is complete nonsense and consists in solely of Rodu evil because reasons. And there's timeline and there's- Yeah, and do you really think I give a shit about the timeline, JJ the Neko? Because I don't. Oh no, I guess it could just be up here. That would also require ultra block and triple jump. Trying to understand Brodude's broken English, half fever dream, half he's just on LSD plotline is nonsense. With the three versions of Brodude's, the constant remaking of every single game, the text that's just scattered around at the end of every game, and just plot dumps, the, 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 the alternate timeline, the parallel universe, how there's two versions of Mario, two versions of Luigi, like... He's constantly contradicting himself anyway. You can't possibly say that the, the lore is completely flawless and makes cohesive sense. Because he can't even keep his lore straight with how he's constantly adding more and more games, such as 6.25 and 3.5 and all that other stuff, to just shoehorn in more random nonsense. Because God forbid he add more past 8, so instead he's just going to remake bad games into slightly less bad games. I don't care if Brodu comes in. He's already been in here before. I haven't exactly ranted too much, but I've mentioned to him that I'm not particularly care about, don't care about his series, and I don't care if he do knows that I don't care about really that much about his series. It's crap, and that's the actual public consensus. Maybe I'm a bit more critical than others, but it's publicly known that Brodu's Star Revenge series is pretty well not good nonsense. Also, hey, look, we found it. Okay. The only reason people give Brodit series as much praise as it does is because A, he has a lot of them, and B, people are afraid to be critical. And also, most of the people who play them and give the best praise are the ones who are the, have the most influence. 
and they just have to say good things because if they say mean things, if they say the truth, and it's it's true that they could possibly think that, but they also they can't exactly give a scathing review because if they do that, then they'll look like an asshole, and they can't afford that because it ruins their image. And okay, I did block that, but I didn't get the thing. Also, whatever, I'll just circle around again. And so they have to be nice to protect their own brand image and their own stream, etc. Or their own YouTube channel. But someone like me, I don't care about brand or anything like that. I play these games for the sake of playing these games. Because as much as I hate them, I do like SM64 and I did want to play this. But yeah, I don't care about giving a scathing review because if nobody likes my review, well then so be it. I don't care if I don't get viewers. So that's not why I stream. And yeah, that star placement was just kind of annoying, but I mean, that's Brodoot, so... Now, I know where one of them is. I don't know where the other one is. Actually, isn't the other one up here? No, it's not. Okay. Is it in the castle area? It might be. It also might not be. It better not be, like, inside a tree. I've got no better idea, so let's just assume it's down here. I don't remember where I'm supposed to jump down, but that was close enough, apparently. Also, this doesn't require the triple jump at all. So he's just completely wrong about that. The, now the exclamation mark, like the hundred coins do. Except they also don't. Actually, no, they, they do. They do, actually. I'll do... Actually, no, it's screw it. I'll do it the intended way. I don't care about my wall kick shortcut. Probably faster because this is right in the way. Yeah, you have to unlock the triple jump and wall kicking. I mean, it's a good gimmick in 7.0. In this game, the badges are placed in idiotic and shit locations. No, the f you never want the fancy triple jump. The fancy triple jump is actually detrimental to your gameplay because you can't wall kick. Or do a bunch of other stuff after you triple jump. Actually, it might just be the wall kick. But also, you bounce a little too, so it's a lot harder to control. The fancy triple jump is actually a downgrade. You never want the fancy triple jump. Ever. You have to, uh, you have to find the badge to unlock the normal triple jump and the normal wall kick. Also, there's a lava badge, which is, like, never, ever required. And there's also uh, Ultra Block and uh, Super Block badges.
and I was muted, so nobody he would, nobody uh, heard me ranting. Really. It's not that difficult. It's just dumb and busy work. Okay, I don't actually know if I know where either of them are in this level, but I can suspect where one of them is up here in this pile of garbage. I mean, it was the obvious place. And I think there was another ultra block somewhere. Heck if I know where, though. Because this entire level is... I mean, I can probably find it. It's probably just like, over here. But, I mean, this level's... This level's a disappointment and a waste of time, so... Uh, did this lead to anything? Okay, this does lead to a path, so it must be over here. Oh boy, it opened up a gate. Hell if I know where that gate is. Is it up here? It might be. I don't remember getting anything up here yet along this path. And again, I very well... No, I definitely... Mm. Actually, yeah, no, it is... Yeah, it's right there. I remember, because I got over here, and then I couldn't get the star, because I didn't ha have the gate open, and I had to kill myself. Also, I didn't have the box, either. Uh, I don't know where they are in this level at all, and that upsets me because I hate this level. I really hate this level. I can suspect, but heck if I know if that's going to be accurate. Behind that vine gate in the other version of this level. Maybe. so worthless. This might be my least favorite level. I don't think it's the worst level, but it's my least favorite. But yeah, the worst is still 10, probably. Uh, was one of them over here, or was this just an actual star? That was just an actual star. Also, why are you surprised that's Tobo music, Dan? Why why does this surprise you? You should know by now. That's like the only music Brody ever uses. Because, I mean, to be fair, Brody music, or Toho music does sound good. And they have some 64 sound font, which is... Can be difficult, but I mean... So many other people succeed, including myself, so it's not too bad. Be happy about what? Toho music? Why'd I be happy about Toho music? I don't care either one way if it's Toho music or not. As long as it sounds good.
What annoys me more is just Brody reusing the same few songs, but I mean... Even that can be partially excused as much as Hopper makes fun of it, because, I mean, he has a lot of games. And it can definitely be a big challenge to... To come up with, uh, unique songs for this many levels for this many games. Oh, do you mean as in Don't Worry, Be Happy? That song? But why, though? Burning! Yay! Okay, that's... That's where... Okay. Oh boy, well I'm gonna not click on it because I don't care. Okay, well there's one of them. And I don't get a hit for the other one. Oh boy. It's some weeb song, oh boy. I just realized this is a different return pipe, I think. Yeah, this is a different return pipe. How did I never notice this before? And that's how I'm supposed to get that star, okay. How did I not notice that ever? Well, in that case, it's probably up here, maybe? No, there is no up here. How did I never notice that that was a different pipe? That explains how you get the tree star without it being terrible. And we're falling. Lovely. And we're burning. More lovely. And we're dead! Because the camera decided, oh, that was a perfect time to get behind a ledge. This level's just annoying to navigate. That's the thing, it's not really that open, because you can't, like, to get anywhere, you basically have to go through here. It's just, it's just annoying. It's just standard Brodoot linear paths, except now there's lava and quicksand and alternate reality version. It's overall pretty boring stuff.
this bully needs to get out of here, otherwise he will cause me to die! God damn it, the bullies! The bullies in this game have been... insane! Like, the recoil. I don't ever remember getting that much recoil from knocking a bully back. Like, re remember when games were about taking damage and dying from accumulated damage and not from just instant death traps? And we're burning! Because everything's got to be maximum slipperiness. Yep. Didn't mean to save state there, but whatever. Why did he knock me forward? That doesn't even make any sense. That's not how bullies behave in Lethal Lava Land, I swear. Whatever, I don't see anywhere it could be over there, so I'm gonna take a guess and say it's not. It's a completely baseless guess, but I mean, that's all I can do. So I'll go up here, suspicious, but. Thank you. 
Like, can we do anything in this level, please? Without getting comboed by fire and lava? Exciting and thrilling and good game design that there are not one but two switches, box, box switches. Oh, yeah. Chucky or the lava or the fire? The fire! No! None of them! Okay. Thank God. Get me out of that hellhole. And take me into this one! Because I don't know where they are in this level either. That's a lie. I'm pretty sure I know where one is. I'm mean, pretty sure I mean I definitely do. One of them is over here. get it from here? Do I have to... Of course I gotta circle all the way around. Why wouldn't I? As for the 100 coin box, couldn't tell you where it is. Oh, except now I've gotta lower the water level, which means I gotta take a chance with my good old friend, that guy. I sure do like having to have a random chance of, uh, actually being able to do anything in the level. Now, if I do this right, I can get it without falling. I hate doing this because I'm kind of terrible at it. There we go. And now for the 100 coin call. 100 coin box. Which could be... Hell I know where it is. Either kill me, Bubba, or knock me up there or something. Okay, I didn't actually realize the water actually oscillated. I thought it was always just a visual thing, but no, that's actual slight oscillation, which is why I was able to sometimes make it, sometimes not. That's interesting. Anyway, um... Is it? I might be around there. I don't know. I'm not convinced. And I definitely don't want to check the awful spot first. If there's a possibility that it's not there. 
I'd rather check up here thoroughly than check the dumbass maze. Which isn't a maze, more so it's just an exercise in patience. Tedium. Bodied by Goomba. Ten months of knockback. Better not be like inside of a tree. It's a secret. see it up here. Time to take my chance with Bubba. And I lose. And I lose. Man, that is a good good placed enemy. It's really, really nice how for literally all but, I think, two stars, you have to hit that switch. Okay, level, but no longer an, an excellent level. I don't remember where they were in this level. I don't even know if I even knew in the first place. Probably just one like down there, like off side of a cliff somewhere. And probably, I mean, I'd be shocked if there wasn't. Actually, no, this one requires the green box. Okay, a bit more does require the green box. I've got this level required it for like half of the uh, stars. It's a very easy thing to forget. I 
if this was a star, if this was... I think that was an actual star. And that was plants. There's no shell in this one. To my knowledge. Oh yeah, let's go with amps. Such a fun enemy! And fire spam! Yeah, fire spam. There's probably one outside. Let's look for the one outside. Probably one in and one out. Maybe. You know, this is a really, really empty tar field. I enjoy its existence. Totally adds a lot to the uh, level. Just die. Oh, I can't even die. I've gotta actually escape. see one over here. Yeah, I, I remember. There's definitely one right there. So I'm just looking for the 100 coin one. Which I don't know where it is! But I'm gonna assume inside the pyramid. everything aside from the uh, missing toad which I may need I'll, I might just look up where the toad is so that we don't end on a climate anti-climax again because I mean this is the last star revenge it'd be nice to end on the final boss Kadowser returns because you know that totally be epic sarcasm Camera, beautiful. Why, t tell me why that pyramid ha wall had to be modeled on both sides when you c can't see the other side. Broded style of modeling is makes it just really awful for a parallel act cam to function. Because the camera clips through the wall, nothing you can do about it. And then the camera is right in front of another wall, and you can't see anything. There's nothing you can do about it. Also, the fire amps really, really don't help. They're just there to be annoying. Over there. No, I can't. I don't get why this part isn't aligned to an axi, but it's not. Oh yeah, it was in here. I forgot. It's just right down there. Or no, no, wait. That's the actual star. 
And the box is the one up here. Yeah, I forgot about that. You just go here, and there's a star. And then you go here again, and there's another star. Man, that was uh, real fun to do that a second time, except more so. What the hell, bro, dude? Why are you such an idiot? What part about that is good game design? <sighs> Immense sigh. Oh boy. Um. Clearly, I will stream my reactions to the direct because I totally care about Pokemon more than watching other people doing it and playing Crystal. Um. I mean, I could. Or I could watch other people who are much more involved in this.